Hey guys, Hidden Spike here with another custom minifigure video today for you. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, I know, it's super random. But I was like, hey, you know what? I have pizzas for, I think I can do this. And also we can say it's in honor of um, Disney having like 100 years of something. I think there's some sort of celebration happening but I forget what it is exactly. But I do know that um, there's a rumor going on nowadays, which is that Lego is going to be making a Series 3 of Disney minifigures. So I'm excited for that. And one of the ones I'm hoping for is Belle. But until we get those minifigures, if they actually are even happening, I was like, hey, I'm going to make Belle myself and see if I can. And I think I'm pretty happy with this. Let's see what you guys think. So what I did... For Miss Belle here is I gave her the hair from Hermione Granger. This is from the Harry Potter collectible minifigure series, by the way. Here is series one. Uh, the head is from... I like this hair, by the way, because I like how it has little arches above her, her head like that. That's very similar to the cartoon, and that's why I was like, this is perfect. I wish it had a little blue bow in the back, but, you know, what are you going to do? The front looks good, <laughs> and it's the right color, too. You want to be sure it's brown. The head is from Ariel, Little Mermaid. I think she has the most joyful, happy, beautiful, darling, cute face for Belle. I was thinking of doing like Princess Leia before when I was like, nah, she doesn't look as happy as Ariel, so Belle's a pretty happy princess. Uh, the torso is probably going to be the trickiest thing to find. That's from the early version of Mary Jane Watson, of MJ, back from the 2004 Spider-Man sets. I know, it's kind of weird, right? But I like how the color matches the uh, the gown piece here, which is from Alice in Wonderland. Uh, going back to the torso, though, I couldn't find any good uh, torso piece that has, like, a blue apron. The closest thing you can find is, like, you know, uh, this torso that I found is, like, this blue torso. But if you don't have that torso from Mary Jane... I would recommend using Roadrunner. I know, it's super random also. <laughs> but uh, This is the same color. It's this light blue that you want. And I know there's no uh, designs on it or anything, so it's kind of plain looking, but at least it's the right color. So you could combine this torso with this um, gown piece from Alice, and that would look fairly good. I know it's uh, not exactly ideal. I wish it had some printing on it, but what are you going to do? It's more important to have color than printing, I'd say. As long as it's like night, not like super inaccurate. Uh, I did swap out the arms for this Mary Jane torso. I made them white instead of light blue, which this came with. And I gave her tan hands. The legs are from Queenie Goldstein, which is also from the Harry Potter Series 1 CMF series. Uh, I like these because it has the little fancy shoes. And Belle has her fancy shoes. And I think it works well. And, uh, I know you can kind of, and she has, like, the bare legs, like, bare knees in the cartoon, so you can't really, like, see any other details other than that they're just, like, they're just, like, plain, plain, uh, tan legs. And I know there's, like, a little bit of detailing on Queenie's, but, you know, with the gown piece, I feel like you can kind of hide that anyway, so I think, I think it works pretty well. And I gave her a little book, because, you know, Belle loves to read books. You can give her any color book. It's hard to have minifigures hold these pieces, I don't really know why. They're just kind of built that way. <laughs> I think nowadays they have better books that, um, there you go. Well, that's for holding it for one second. Uh, they have better made books nowadays that have like little handles on the side, which are much easier for minifigures to hold than this. And this does not cooperate very well. As you can see, this is one of the old version books. I got this from like a Harry Potter set. You can cheat, I guess. You have to read it that way. <laughs> I don't know. But I think it looks like it's a nice color book for her, like a nice pink. So, yeah, these pieces don't cooperate very well. But anyway, so that's how you build the figure, and I hope you liked it. So you should try building it too, and hope for Lego to make Disney Series 3 minifigures and have Belle and the Beast there. Don't ask me to make a Beast, because I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. All right. Hell on a spike out.